everybody, it's Allison at Sea Bags. Happy Friday. It is a beautiful sunny day, but super cold here in Portland. But we've got something to help brighten up the winter. I'm here with our designer, Kat. Hello. She's the face behind some of your favorite bags. And we're here to talk to you guys about our newest launch of um, these bags right here. Um, so we have a variety of different totes, um, two larger, mostly medium, and then some convertible buckets. So Pat, do you want to take us through sort of the inspiration behind all of these? Sure. Um, I'd like to start with a personal favorite of mine, yes. <laughs> which is our nautical motifs tote. These are actually inspired by sailors' tattoos. Yeah. And they're backed with an antique map, which is Casco Bay. You can even see Shabig Island right here. And every little symbol here has meaning, and we put some little banners in here so that you can kind of get an, a hint for like what that might be. Right. So like this one is a harpoon. That's if you've served on a on a um, fishing vessel. Mm -hmm. And fun fact, the Lady Catherine is actually a lobster boat that I see out my window all the time. Yeah, it's right back there. Right on the actually, like, you can't see it, but it's there. It's literally there. Um, and there's some, like, the, the full rigged ship is if you've been around Cape Horn. The swallows are when you've traveled 5,000 nautical miles. So I just, I just love the story behind these. I love the motifs. All of that is, like, came together to make this, this print. So if you were going to get one of these nautical tattoos, which one would you have earned, do you think, if you were a sailor? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I'm not a sailor, but I have crossed the Atlantic, so I would probably get this. The this anchor. anchor. Very I classic. like, yeah, I like the um, swallow personally. I think that's super cool. Um, and if you had multiple swallows, then you were like a super good sailor. Yeah. Sailing five thousand miles is yeah. really tough. But it's almost like an advertisement. <laughs> like if you were like putting your resume on your body, that's what <laughs> These, it this is like a sailor's resume. Yeah. So that one is super cool. We're actually going to have a blog post about that up later this weekend, so you guys can read more in depth about the different meanings behind all of the symbols on the tote. So then our next one is, is the Great Blue Heron. Super cute. So we we love these guys. We see them, you see them all the way up and down the East Coast. I actually grew up in Miami. You can see them down there in the Everglades. They're gorgeous. And then it's so nice to be able to see them up here as well. Um, we love their color. We love that little bright beak yeah. there that really like brightens up your day. So, yeah. And yeah. This this guy also comes in a wristlet and the tote. Um, super cute. So far, I think it's been one of the most popular ones. Um, and again, I mean, we love our birds here in Maine. And just that little pop of yellow is so great. And then that carries over into um, two, one of the two new colors of our pure tote. Do you want to talk about the pure tote cat? This is really great. The pure tote is like a, a, the body of it, the way it's shaped is designed after one of the original sea bags that was made by our founder way back when, like 20 years ago. And um, yeah, it is actually like 20 years ago. But for a company, 20 years is a big thing. So yeah, so for, for us, like this is like a piece of our history. And there was a lobsterman um, who carried this boat, th this on his boat for a really long time. And it was like super beat up and beautiful. And we had that in our for a long time so that inspired this new shape where we've got these great big useful pockets on both front and back and then we also have a zippered hanging pocket on the interior so that it can keep you organized while you're using this and it makes a great beach bag yes and, and the clasp we're super too. excited to offer it in these two new colors this really cool calm gray and this really bright sunny yellow yeah and i actually this one that I'm holding, I want to point out some cool little features on this. You'll see we've got some of the zig stitching from the original sail on the pocket in here, some more zig stitching over here, and then this is a really cool um, dark zig stitching. So that's all original features of the sail, which is part of what makes these bags so cool is that you're never going to have two bags that are exactly the same. There's always going to be some sort of little hint of its previous life on the water, yeah. and that's one of our favorite things about them. Absolutely. So moving along, we have this um, koi fish medallion, which also kind of has that tattoo-like look to it. Um, and that is part of what we loved about this piece of artwork when we found it. So this is a vintage artwork from the 1960s. Um, yeah, and that wave motif, you'll notice like also on here that like there's kind of 
there's some that's a little bit softer and like then darker blacks and what we love is that variation and that also happens when you're printing on recycled sales because no exactly. two sales will take the ink in the same way so for us that's something really special yeah it's so cool to see you see like there's a little bit of the layer over here like Kat said a little bit of the softer bits and then there's more darker and more defined on the outside and that is really part of what makes these products so unique um, I think you know like different colors. Yeah, you, you see this one. If you sales. see the two next to each other, this one's a little bit lighter, a little more faded. This one might be a little bit darker. And, and then of course, like always on the inside. Yeah. Like it's got its own unique stitching and these patterns. Well, like you'll, that's part of the fun. Every new sea bag has a different pattern to it. And you might actually be able to hear um, some of our seamstresses working in the background sewing away at these new designs. Um, Everything is made right on our headquarters where we're at in uh, Portland on Custom House Wharf. Um, so this is an older shape that we have, but we have two new designs in it. Um, and this is a super fun thing. This is our convertible bucket. Um, right now these are set up um, to be sort of like a slung over the shoulder or type backpack, deal. Or you can do or a as Kat is that. demonstrating the backpack, which is super awesome. It's such a versatile bag. You throw your things in it, and then if you're going to work, out to drinks, you know, you want to switch it to a handbag. You just slide your cording right through, and then it makes a shoulder carry. Ta-da! Yep. <laughs> but yeah, this is a really fun um, bag that we introduced, I believe, last year. Right? Yeah. And then we have it That's in the two new shapes. Um, so yeah, definitely um, click the link to check out these new bags. I know this is a hard question for you, Kat, since you did design them, but just, if you had to pick a favorite, which would it be? Oh, geez. That's like, <laughs> that's like pick between all of the children. It's like, yeah, like, I think you're a favorite, favorite child. <laughs> but I, I think that just for like fun visual interest, I really love the Nautical Motifs tote because yeah. when it's far away, it really reads like a really pretty kind of fabric that you might see and then as you get closer you can see those motifs yeah and read the little hints in there and I, I love something that works from far away and closer very cool I probably would pick um, this just I love color in the winter it gets uh -huh. so gray and dark and this is just a beautiful like bright it just it's a color that just like makes you happy to see yeah. it it's funny I've actually noticed um, we've had quite a few people wearing this color this week in our, just around our office, coincidentally. Um, so it's always fun to see um, people sort of dressing like our bags. Yes. All right. Well, thanks to Kat for joining us. If you guys, Thank you everybody. If you guys have any questions about any of the products that we talked about or sea bags in general, feel free to just leave them in the comments and we'll respond. And we hope everybody has a great weekend. Stay warm. It's going to be cold in Maine um, and probably the rest of the country too. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thank you.